WizardFu here. This is another video in the Load Bracker 5 vs. 5 game development series. Check it out, I'm a little bit extra hologrammy today. You can barely even see me. Whoa! Check out what I've been working on. Um, <clears throat> what was I working on again? Builder role. The builder role um, for the bots. So the AI system. Now, let's uh, get this. Uh, let's get these guys like that. So, um, these guys are taking off at high speed because uh, I got them really, really fast because I just want this uh, to test this faster. But basically, if we follow one of these lumberjacks, they're going to um, carve their way up to a different part of the arena to one of the lane markers. That's a little entity that's been created to mark where these guys should go for. So um, they, they carve their way all up to this lane marker, and then as soon as they get there, they throw down a lane complete. So they spawn another entity called lane complete so that the builder roles can be intelligent enough to know that a lane has been completed. And as soon as they get down here and they've, they've gone and they've carved a lane, they turn into builders. Right now, they're really stupid. They, don't, they can't um, path find. So even though they have a clear path to the lane marker, they start walking through the trees and get caught. So let's help them out here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and like cut down some trees and let these builders get across. And what we'll see is that the builders can now build bridges. Yeah. So that's kind of cool. Um, one step closer to actually having two teams of AI, or I mean, being able to play this actually with the, with the AI being the second team. Um, so, right, so the, the whole point is, right, to go steal the other team's lodestone. Well, to do that, you have to ford the river by, you know, building this bridge. That's, you just saw that the bot built a bridge. It's so cool. So he built that bridge there across the water, and I can go steal my way into this enemy team's base. Um, and if I were rollless, I could turn into an archragger and then steal their lodestone. You can see I'm kind of carving my way through um, because it looks like this team over here carved some lanes, and I was using their lane a little bit. So, um, yeah, I could... If I had... Uh, if I were rollless right now, I could steal their lodestone, but it's not. I can't use their buildings to turn into something else, and I can't drag the lodestone without being an archragger. So there you have it. Builders, AIs can actually build bridges. That's one step, one very important step towards this AI working in the way it should. So let's. Most of this magic happens here in the um, the bot's behavior tree. There's a new sequence called Rollless Target, where if um, it smartly detects whether how many builders there are, um, how many building builders there are, how many lane completes there are, and then if uh, if all those predicates match, then it, char it targets the nearest builder building so that it can become a builder and get the hammer. Um, same thing for the lumberjack; it does some stuff to test whether lumberjack. The only thing that's new here in the AI system is this behavior if count if count takes um let's like actually look at that like if count lumberjack is less than three let's look at what that does in the ai system um if count is a role type which lumberjack is then it will find the role in w looking up the words um so if that role is not none then it goes and loops over all the entities in the ai's current team and if they're that role then it increases the count so it counts up the number of lumberjacks, for example. Um, and then at the end here, it compares it using uh, behavior less than or behavior greater than or equals, if not other those two. So another way this if count can work is if um, is by name component. So it can look up all the entities with that name component and increase the count that way. So that's how that works. And then the builder, um, builder sequences here, here's where the builder targets the nearest lane complete. And then as soon as it gets near the lane marker, um, it switches to that target because the lane complete is not exactly where we want to build a bridge. We want to build a bridge on the lane marker. So as soon as it gets close enough, it targets the lane marker and then builds the bridge. So it uses the button A, holds it down for one second to enable building mode on the hammer. And then uh, after that, it does button A again to confirm building the building. And uh, another th special thing about this is that it's this new um, behavior called set. Set building, building bridge. Let's look at what that does. Behavior set. Um, if int val zero is building, then it basically just sets the e.input.building type to uh, whatever that building type is so that it can build 
uh, a building without having to cycle through which building it would be you want to create, like a player would, or a human player would. The AI player kind of already knows what he wants to build, so it kind of like shortcuts that process, but makes up for it by delaying, well, hopefully about the same amount of time that a human would. So, there you have it. That's how um, the builder can build bridges. So, one step closer to actually being able to play a match. Almost. Almost there. Excited. Thanks for watching.